Okay, so, so what have we got here? Look, so it's 555 timer. Yeah. Actually, yeah. So it looks like that's working. It looks like a pretty good square wave coming off. Yeah, that's kind of what you'd expect. And uh, the component value is going to affect the mark to space ratio on the uh, on the waveform that you get. So you happy with that or not? I'm happy, but yeah, in real uh, real world somehow uh, it is challenging because I, I I'm not able to see the clear waveforms as I'm getting here in the. What, what do you mean? I, that, I, I don't think I've ever seen a clean away from... <laughs> that, <coughs> this, this here is just overshoot, so that, that's... Well, mustn't touch it. That, that, that there is just overshoot. That's just um, ringing off the fact that it's... Uh, oh, well, you won't see it because the rate of change is so fast that the line is infinitesimally small. You've just got to imagine that that line is there. No, it's a good question you asked. Um, let's just touch it with the resistor. This point here is so narrow that they can't the, the, the display can't display it. So narrow. That's what's going on there. It's there, it's real. But of course simulation we can see. Yeah, I know, I know, but that's just because someone's written a bit of software that does that. But but in the real world this transition here is so fast that uh, the poor old scope can't render it very well and you see it on all the other ones as well. Okay, and how can I measure the voltage, like any other voltage? Well, you can read it directly off screen. So you've got here, look, you can see the voltage is going up mm -hmm. the left-hand side, so you could do it like that. The other way is you can, yeah, I won't do this on the video, but the other way you can do it is you can just do it, um, perform a measurement and it will give you the amplitude in, in volts. Okay. Yeah? Thank so you can just read it straight off screen. I'd, I'd get a photograph of it as well. I tried to... Uh, but that, that, that's working great. I don't think... That, that's fine. You don't want to get distressed about that. That's, that's really good. Yeah, and the other thing is I want to... Because I designed this particularly to control the RPM of the DC motor. Yeah. So how can I uh, simulate the DC motor in Maltesing? Because I could not <coughs> find the... No, you won't. And you can't... There's not really any point in simulating the DC motor. I mean, it's going to have a huge amount of inductance and some capacitance, but... Um, for all intents and purposes, you could just, um, well, you could put a light bulb on there, and you, a, a, a bulb, uh, not an LED, but just a normal, uh, in, inside the simulation, you've got a thing in there called a bulb or a, a light, and what you'll see is as you change the mark to space ratio on, on here, you'll see the bulb get brighter or darker, that's what your motor controller does, it's, it's not a motor controller bridge, it's just a speed controller, right? Yeah. So that's all it's doing. So the less time that you're positive, the slower it's going to run. The more time that you're positive, the longer it's going to run. Yeah, you get it? Yeah.